Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Black Legion Greater Possessed. The first colour that we're going to use is Citadel and the Fist on red. And that's going to be to do his claw and any of the sort of open sections where it looks like the armour and possibly his skin's pulled apart. What we're trying to do here is make it look a little bit like a lobster claw, which is what it reminds me of, or a crab claw. So we're going to be going for that nice reddy orange colour that you tend to find on crabs and lobsters. When we come back, I'll have all of my fist on red finished. Next we're going to be using Vallejo Flesh Base, and that's just to do any of the areas of skin that are visible. So this is just going to be for his arms. When we come back, we'll have all of the flesh base finished. Now we're moving on to Citadel Rakarth Flesh. This is going to be to do all the teeth and the bony spines that are grown out of him. Also any of the skulls on his armour and that kind of thing. When we come back, we'll have all of the Rakarth flesh finished. Next we're going to be using Citadel Xerius Purple. This is kind of to tie him in with the Death Guard, where I always do the tentacles either green or purple colour. We're also going to use it on his hand to do all the fingers and thumb. Now if you've not painted Possessed before, or any of the greater possessed. They are great models because you can basically do any of the demon parts any colour you want. So you can get a nice variety of different things and they're quite fun to paint. When we come back, we'll have all the Zerius purple finished. Now we're moving on to Citadel Emperor's Children. This is just to do his tongue. Like so. Now we're going to be using Vallejo White. This is going to be to do all the eyes which are around his body. There's a couple on his chest, on his claw, and one on his backpack too. When we come back, we'll have all of the white finished. Well, I've just turned them around here so you can see the backpack. I've used Vallejo base flesh on all of these parts here. I didn't realise that they're kind of fleshy bits at the start. But now we're going to be moving on to Citadel Liberator Gold. We're going to start working on the armour trim. When we come back, we'll have all of the Liberator Gold finished. 
Next we're going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher. This is going to be to do all the tubes. There is quite a few dotted around his body. On parts of his backpack, he'll be doing the vents on there as well. Like so. Next we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Retributor armour. Now, I've forgotten to hold up the paint here, but it is listed below. We're just going to be doing this Star of Chaos on his arm. Like so. Now I'm going to be using Vallejo German Cam Bright Green. That's a lovely bright green colour this. I'm going to do his lenses in this colour rather than the red that I've been doing for the other Black Legion. Only because they're possessed and I wanted to give them a bit of a different look. Like so. Now we're moving on to the shades, the first being a Grax Earth shade from Citadel. We're going to be using this on all of the gold. I do use a lot of shades on the models, I just think they're, they're a great way of bringing out detail. When we come back, we'll have all your Grax Earth shade finished. Now we're moving on to Citadel Druchi Violet. This is going to be to shade all of the reds and the purples. When we come back, we'll have all of the Duty Violet finished. Next we're going to be using Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm just going to use this on his skin. When we come back, we'll have all of the Reichland Flesh Shade finished. Now we're moving on to Citadel Seraphim Sepia. This is going to be to do all the bones and teeth that are on him. When we come back, we'll have all of the Seraph from Sepia finished. Now we're going to be using Citadel Caraberg Crimson, and this is just to do his tongue. Like so. The final shade that we're going to use is Citadel Null Oil. This is going to be for all the silvery metallics.
Now when you're applying all the shades and things, if you go onto any of the other areas, don't worry too much, because you can go over them at a later point when we're doing the colours again. When you're applying the null oil to the armour trim, you can apply it quite liberally so that you've got a lot of the shade building up in some of the recesses, so it gives it that kind of dirty gold look. When we come back, we'll have all of the null oil finished. Now we're moving on to the colours. We're going to start with Citadel Mephist on red again. This is going to be used on the claw, the loincloth, and also on the insides of the sort of openings on his chest and his arm and his leg. When you're highlighting these, you do want to try and get all the highlights so they're on the topmost edges. So it would be where the light would be catching it if it was coming down from above. Now there are a few details that probably wouldn't catch too much light that we are going to use highlights on. But as a general rule of thumb, you do want to have the highlights just on the top edges or the areas that will be catching the light. And when we come back, we'll have all of the Mephist on red finished. Now we've just added a little bit of Citadel Fire Dragon Bright to the Mephist on red. I'm going to start with the first layer of highlights on the claw and on his loincloth. He's ever so slightly out of focus there, unfortunately. When we come back, we'll have all of this mix finished. Now we're just going to add some Citadel Fire Dragon Bright again to lighten that mix, and we're going to do another layer of highlights. When we come back, we'll have all of this mix finished. I've just added a final lot of Citadel Fire Dragon Bright to that mix. We're just going to do one final highlight on the red. When we come back, we'll have all of this highlight finished. Next we're going to be using Vallejo Flesh Base again to recolour his skin. Now they have managed to get a lot of detail just on his skin here, there's little ridges where the tubes go in. You've got little ridges where the armour joins on, and you've also got sections where the veins are showing and that kind of thing. When we come back, we'll have all of this flesh base finished. Now that we've finished the claw, I've just actually used Citadel Rakar flesh and then shaded these teeth with Seraphim Sepia. But now we're going to go back onto the flesh again. Now we've added some Vallejo white to the flesh base, and we're now going to highlight the skin. As always, if there are parts that you find you've missed, you'll probably find a few teeth on this miniature because they're everywhere on it. If you do find any bits that you have missed as you're going along, just go back and do them the same way you've done the rest of it.
When we come back, we'll have all of this highlight finished. Next, we're going to use some more Vallejo White just to lighten the previous mix and do another highlight on the skin. Now you want this highlight just to be on the very top side of it, you don't want any going too far down. So if you're looking at the model from above, you just want to be highlighting those top sides, those top edges. When we come back, we'll have all of this highlight finished. I just added a little bit of my fist on red to that previous mix. I'm just going to do a bit of rough blending of the colours in here. That's only going to be about two, maybe three mixes at the most to blend this in. So you want to be doing this part on the flesh side. Like so. I'm going to add a little bit more Mephist on Red to that mix. I'm going to do another bit of blending. So we're going to put this on the claw side of the bit that we've just done to blend the flesh and the red together. Like so. And finally, we're adding a little bit of Vallejo White to that mix. And we're just going to highlight the sections where we've blended it over. There's a very quick and easy method of getting from one colour to the other. You can do two or three layers and you'll get it looking quite nice. Like so. Now, we're just going to use a touch of Citadel Caro Bird Crimson. And this is just going to be to do the veins on his arm. So where you've got these veins coming down towards the claw. We're going to be doing a little bit of Caroberg Crimson on them just to make it look like whatever's given in the claw, the demon that's given in the claw, is going through his veins a bit so they're darker, going out into his normal arm. Now it is optional this, you don't really need to do this, I just thought I'd have a go at it. When we come back, we'll have all the Caroberg Crimson finished. Now we're going to work on the demon hands and the tentacles and his feet. We're using Citadel Zerius Purple. We're just going to reapply the colour. We're adding the purple to sort of the top two thirds of his fingers there, making sure that you're leaving some of the shade in the recesses, just so that you can see the details on his hand. When we come back, we'll have all the Zerius purple finished. Now I've just mixed a little bit of Citadel Gene Steeler purple in with the Zerius purple. I'm going to use this to highlight all the sections that we've just covered. So his feet, his hands and the tentacles. When we come back, we'll have all of this mix finished. Now we've just added a little bit of Emperor's Children to the previous mix. We're going to do one final highlight on the purple skin and the tentacles. And this is only going to be on maybe the top quarter, if that, of the skin. Slightly out of focus there, unfortunately. Sorry about that. When we come back, we'll have all of this mix finished. Now we're going to be using Citadel Drucci Violet Shade. We're going to use this to blend in the skin towards his fingers and also the skin around his feet. Now you will need to do a couple of layers of this. The first layer will just start to darken it and make it a little bit purple, so you want to go quite high up. 
away from the actual purple hand and the purple feet and then as the layers progress you're bringing that purple more and more towards the feet and the hand. And when we come back we'll have all the Drucci Violet finished. Next up we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Liberator Gold to reapply the gold to the armour trim. Now you do want to be leaving plenty of the shade in the recesses and on the actual flat surfaces too so that it gives it that dirty grubby gold look that we've been using for the Black Legion. When we come back we'll have all of the Liberator Gold finished. Now we're going to be adding a little bit of Vallejo Modeler Chrome to the Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to do highlights on its edges. Now as usual you want to be doing the edges that are going to catch the light. But also with this you can do it on some of the ones that wouldn't really catch the light. Sort of like underneath the leg where the leg's leaning forward and that kind of area. Just because it will catch the light just a little bit and it'll give you that little shine underneath. And when we come back, I'll have all of this mix finished. Now we're going to use Citadel Rakarth Flesh. I'm going to start reapplying the colour to the spines and his horns and the teeth. Now once again, there's that many teeth all over this model that you may find that you've missed some later on. If you do find any, just go over them the same way that you're going to do this part. When we come back, we'll have all of the Rakarth flesh finished. Next we're going to be using Citadel Ushabti Bone. We've mixed that with the Rakarth flesh to lighten it up a bit. I'm going to do the first layer of highlights on all the bones and the teeth. When we come back, we'll have all of this mix finished. And now finally we're going to add a little bit of white to the previous mix and give those one final highlight. When we come back, we'll have all of this mix finished. I'm not too sure what's happened with the video footage for this part, but you need to paint all the armour plates black before moving on to this section. So if you go over all the armour plates with whichever black colour that you're using, and then come back to this when you've done it, and start using German Grey from Vallejo. When we come back, we'll have all the German grey finished. Just going to use some Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. And this is going to be to some final highlights on his armour. So the little ridges and cracks that he's got in the ceramite plates, you want to be doing the highlight 
on the top edge of each of those ridges. When we come back, we'll have all the Mechanica standard grey finished. Next we're just going to be using some Uriel Yellow from Citadel and this is going to be to do the Sons of Horus badges. I apply that quite a slapdash way and just put the yellow across the black pupil in there as well. So if you do that you can just wet the brush quickly and wipe it off the pupil. Or you can do it a bit more carefully like that one. Now we're going to be moving on to a little bit of Citadel Fugan Orange and this is just going to be to do the underside of the eyes of Horus just giving that orange burning colour at the base of them like so Now we're going to use some Citadel Emperor's Children and this is just to reapply some colour to his tongue. Now it's got lots of little bobbles on the top. And it's also got lots of little stripes down the side. So if you can pick out those details, great stuff. Like so. Now we're just going to be using a little bit of Citadel Retributor Armour to reapply the colour on the star of chaos on his shoulder touching up a little bit on his arm there as well like so now just going to use some citadel caroberg crimson and this is to give some of the areas around open wounds or where there's fleshy bits going, joining straight into armour. We just want to apply that around the edges of it to give them a bit of an angry, infected look. I'm also going to be using a bit of Caroberg Crimson to do around the edges of the eyes, just to give them a bit of a bloodshot look. If you put too much of it on any of the eyes, you can just go back over the centre with a little bit of white and reapply the pupil, which I do with one of these. When we come back, we'll have all of these finished. Now, using a little bit of Citadel Lamenter's Yellow Glaze, we're just going to apply this to all the eyes and give them a bit of a yellow tint. Like so. Now we're going to use some Citadel Null Oil. We're going to use this to blend in the fleshy exhausts on his backpack to the backpack itself. Now like we did with the Juicy Violet on his feet and his arm. Now it's probably going to take a couple of layers so you'll see me rotating the figure quite a few times. Because if you start on one side of one exhaust, you can then apply it to the other side of that exhaust, then over to the other exhaust and do that one completely. And then by the time that's dried, you'll be able to do back on the first one again. So keep chopping and changing just until you get that nice blend between the flesh and the black. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black and this is just going to be to do his fingernails and also his toenails, the claws on his feet. A little bit off camera there.
like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Mechanica's standard grey and this is just going to be to do one thin straight line down the centre of each claw. like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel gloss varnish which is like the hard coat. All we're going to do is apply this to all the sections where his arm is opened up and you can see the flesh inside or any areas where it's going to be a bit damp and moist such as the eyes, the tears in his flesh but also we're going to put it on the claws and give them a nice shine too. final thing that we're going to do is use a bit of Vallejo light green and also Vallejo white. We're just going to highlight the lenses for his eyes. Now you mix a little bit of the green with the white. I'm just going to apply that to the front two thirds of the lens. Mix a little bit more white with it. Apply this one to the front third of the lens. Then finally, we're just going to use a little spot of pure white on each end of both lenses. like so. I'm just going to use a tiny spot of Citadel BL Tan Green and this is going to be to darken up the section of the lens just in front of the white spot that we put at the back. If you put too much on, you just quickly wipe your brush and then you'll be able to move that away slightly. And with that Greater Possessed Miniature is finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.